your comments to the biggest problem in freedom, what is it video, right there, that we published last time. This video won't make any sense if you didn't see it, so click that eye up there. That'll take you to that video, The Biggest Problem in Freedom, What Is It? After watching it, let's watch this one where we read your comments. So there were over 400 of you who left a comment, and let's start going through them. Miss Dean Online said, The biggest problem is the lack of quality content. MGN has some great quality vids, but it's pretty limited. So, what about The George Show? Is this not quality content? If not, tell me in the comments below how I can improve the show. And we are working on a new set that will give us a higher production value. But what about the actual information in the show? Is that helpful? Or how can it be more helpful? Anthony Smith was poking fun at me. He was saying, I think George stealing my webcam is a pretty big problem. Give it back. No. Next. Lucky Lag360 said, one of the solutions would possibly be not to play a game all day and actually work for your partners, also pay YouTube Red earnings. So first I'll address the game part. I don't play a game all day. The whole point of Elvenar, and in case you don't know what Elvenar is, click that link up there. That'll also explain how to play it with us in the Freedom Family. Elvenar is a casual game, which means I can spend a few minutes to check the chat, respond to a few questions, progress in the game by clicking a few production items and, and maybe have a combat or two, then I get back to work. That's why I really like that kind of game is because it lets me work with only a few minutes here and there to have some fun. Now, the second part is the more serious one, also pay YouTube Red Earnings. So we have paid YouTube Red Earnings. If you don't know what YouTube Red is, YouTube Red is a subscription service where people can pay $10 a month in the US currently only and have an ad free experience. So you're not making any money from people with YouTube Red for your ads, but you do get money from their $10 a month subscription based on how many people watch your videos. So if I pay 10 bucks a month and I spend half my time watching your videos, you get half of my subscription fee, at least the portion that YouTube pays out after taking its cut. So have we paid YouTube Red Earnings? Yes, we have. In fact, we've paid October and November early for YouTube Red Earnings and here's why. When YouTube Red first came out in October, it launched October 28th. We needed a little time to make sure that our payment system supports YouTube Red. Well, it does, but we were a little late in giving you your October YouTube Red earnings. As an apology, we sent you your November YouTube Red earnings two weeks early. So normally we pay at the end of the month, but you, everyone who earned anything from YouTube Red, now got it uh, today or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this video. So. Some of you might be wondering, well, doesn't that mean I'm earning less money now because YouTube Red means ads are not running on my video? Well, it's actually not the case because YouTube Red means people with ad blockers are now earning you money. So you might think, well, if someone already has an ad blocker, why are they buying YouTube Red? Well, it's because you don't just get an ad-free experience, you get a lot more. You get access to all of the Google Play Music, which costs $10 a month anyway. So you're getting that basically for free, which lets you play any music on YouTube anytime in a background environment on your mobile phone. It's basically Spotify for the same $10 a month fee, but uh, you also get an ad-free experience on YouTube. You also get the ability to download videos for offline play for 30 days. So if you are in a Wi-Fi zone, you can pre-download all the videos you want to watch so that when you're offline, maybe traveling or on a plane, you can watch everything for up to 30 days. That's another feature of YouTube Red. And another one is custom content. YouTube has partnered with the biggest YouTube stars to create some original series that are exclusive to YouTube Red, so you'll only be able to watch it if you have a YouTube Red subscription. And there's a few more features that YouTube Red gives you um, in addition to all that. So yes, there's more reasons why people subscribe to YouTube Red than just an ad-free experience. That's why you actually will get more revenue because a portion of those subscribers are people who typically use ad blockers that would not make you a penny and now make you 
money. Just how much money? Well, just to give you an idea, in November, we paid out 17, how do I do 17? $17,000 just for YouTube Red earnings to the Freedom family. So it's certainly not pennies, it's lots of money. And that number will grow each month because remember, YouTube Red just launched October 28th. That means that it's brand new. <laughs> And people will take time before they choose to sign up for this $10 a month subscription. And over time, more and more people will. And when they launch in other countries, not just the US, then even more people will sign up for YouTube Red. So you can be sure that your YouTube Red earnings will continue to grow each month. That was a long answer to a short question. <laughs> now, let's move on to the next one. Uh, oh, and on the subject of YouTube Red Earnings, there was also a comment about Hitbox later on. Since we're on the subject, we also pay Hitbox each month. Some months it's a little late because we get the data late from Hitbox, but we also paid Hitbox Earnings for October, and we will be paying Hitbox Earnings for November when it's the time to pay November Earnings, which is at the end of the month. So. If you're complaining that you didn't get YouTube or Hitbox earnings, are you sure you're partnered with Freedom on Hitbox? That's the first question. And the second question is, do you have your PayPal in your account um, to make sure that we can pay you? Hope this helps. So Mayhem Mercenary said, I have no issue with Freedom whatsoever. And his basically his point is that um, for those of you complaining about your channel not growing, do not blame the network. It is your responsibility to grow your channel. Well, it's tr true, but it's also our responsibility to help you grow faster, which we do by giving you training like this, these episodes of The George Show, giving you access to music like position music, epidemic sound, audio micro, and a few other custom music deals. Did you know track testing will be launching soon? It's a new music library, like all the others I mentioned, but it's exclusive to Freedom. It's the only, Freedom will be the only place you can get the track testing music library. And did you also know position music is exclusive to Freedom? You can't get position music in any other MCN for free. To check Position Music out, just go to www.positionmusic.com and click the shiny Freedom button to sign in with your Freedom account so you can start listening to and downloading and using all of that music in the Freedom collection for your videos and live streams. Anywhere, even on Twitch. Hope this helps. So, Prome Video said, Webcam is too big. Good video, by the way. Uh, should I reduce my webcam size? Uh, I can. For example, I can make myself this small. Is that better? I can also make myself bigger, but I don't think that's good. Actually, the reason I chose this size is because it's the exact same size as this video so that I don't overwrite the video when I am um, making videos. Now, you might also be curious to know, how do I hide this stuff behind me? I'll hide myself to show you. This is a pro tip. For those of you making videos with the Windows, with the YouTube interface or any website, if you right click on the thing you want to hide and then choose inspect element, you didn't see that pop up, but it was there if you right click. And then you hover in, in Chrome, and then you hover over the region that you want to hide, you simply put in uh, visibility hidden. And as soon as you do that, it hides the whole block. So now it's a cleaner experience. And when you make videos, there's less clutter to distract your audience. So pro tip. I <laughs> hope you like that. Uh, let's see. We were on Josh Price. The biggest problem that is a problem you still have yet to solve is the dashboard. The new dashboard was supposed to launch a while back. That's true. You have a huge team of developers and you're clearly focusing more on heartbeat. That's actually not true. And I'll explain why in a moment. People need more than just a Chrome extension. You need to be better supporting everyone with your technology. So totally agree. We need to support everyone better. There's always room for improvement. Just so you know, we have 20 
developers, only three are dedicated to Heartbeat. The rest are dedicated to other projects, not just the dashboard, but the largest chunk of that is the dashboard team. Now, you might be wondering, what are all these people on the dashboard doing if there's so many of them? Well, do you realize the dashboard is a like top 25,000 website in the world? So many of you use it every day. We have more visitors than full screen, than Machinima, than even BBTV to our dashboard. And I'll show you why or how I come to that statement. There's a website called Alexa.com which measures the popularity of any website in the world. So if you search for freedom.tm, you can see that we are a top, we're number 24,000, I'll hide myself so you can see that, we're number 24,635 in the world. That means we have a lot of visitors and a lot of people using the dashboard, so we need a large development team to make sure everything is working well, fast, that uh, all of the bugs you report get fixed quickly. And I'll give you some examples of how other major MCN's websites compare. So machinima.com is a top 100, 23,000 website in the world. So we're kicking Machinima's butt. Uh, Fullscreen.net is a top 56,000 website in the world. So we're also kicking Fullscreen's butt. And BBTV, which I mentioned, uh, website is a top 98,000 website in the world. So we're kicking BBTV's butt as well. However, I think we are the biggest, most popular website of any MCN in the world. And if that's not true, tell me which website has more in the comments below. And I'll happily admit I'm wrong if you show me which one has a better Alexa ranking than 25,000. Okay, so my point back to you, Josh Price, is that we are constantly working on improving the dashboard and we will be adding a lot of features over time. So I hope you understand it just takes time and a lot of testing and a lot of infrastructure work to operate a dashboard at the scale that we are operating given how popular it is and how many people use it every single day. So Kratos Aurian Plays said 531, not bad at all. Very good numbers. So what he means is at 5 minutes and 31 seconds. Big in this video, we show our network statistics of like 29 billion views, 140 million subscribers, and that's the size of freedom. And it's updated every day uh, uh, by YouTube. If you want to see that, just go to youtube.com slash freedom slash about. Uh, Dissectra said, uh, you should stop making Elvenar videos. Actually, I have stopped Dissectra. And the only reason I made so many was because so many of you wanted to play the game. We had to create seven, seven, guilds just to accommodate everyone who wanted to play in Elvenar. And the interest has now died down, so I can stop talking about the game and move on to other things. In case you want to know about Elvenar, though, click that eye up there. That'll take you to the video explaining how you can join the game and play with us to chat, help each other grow together, and have fun. So Rise said, in my opinion, the only problem with Playlist for Playlist is that almost nobody watches Playlists. Don't get me wrong, I really don't support Sub for Sub. My solution? Criticism for criticism. Yes, it's less catchy, but that way you gain views, criticism, and watch time, which leads to more views. So Splurge Games replied by saying, criticism for criticism then? Actually, I would love to see how this can work, Rise. Show us an example of criticism for criticism down there in the comments beneath this video. And for those of you who don't know what Playlist for Playlist is, it's a way of promoting each other's content on your own channel. So it's actually not watching playlists, it's people who visit your channel will see other videos that you're doing a Playlist for Playlist with. I'll give you an example. If you go to the main Freedom channel at youtube.com slash freedom, we're doing Playlist for Playlist with our partners. <clears throat> Did you know that? So if you scroll down, you'll see right here, Featured on Freedom. And I'll move myself out of the way so you can see everything. Featured on Freedom represents our partners that we are promoting through our central channel. And how we did it is, or how these people got here is, they won a contest. We did a Featured on Freedom contest, and if you didn't see that, click that eye up there. That'll take you to the video talking about the Featured on Freedom contest and how we picked the winners. And we will 
do more of these contests because you said you want us to. But there was one interesting comment that I didn't even realize was that all the winners are men. And I went to check and that's true. Every one of these uh, winning videos is by a guy, also known as a sausage party. So a f one of the comments was, hey, why don't you do a Featured on Freedom contest for the ladies only, where we had only let women YouTubers uh, participate so we can pick a women only series of winners. Is that a good idea, guys? Do you like that? Yes. So that's my wife, uh, Xenia. Uh, she's watching me on the set as I'm making this episode, and of course, she's a lady. So she votes yes. Do you vote yes? Tell me in the comments below. And let's move on. So regulate. ZX said, can I reapply to Freedom? I've been trying for a few months now and can't seem to. So I checked and you just needed to click the learn more button on your dashboard. So I sent you another invitation with instructions on exactly how to do that. I hope you follow those instructions and can now join Freedom. All right. So moving on. Someone suggested, algorithm said, you should start a series on this. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is the first episode. <laughs> so Tennessee said, the biggest problem in freedom is you promote false videos. Are you getting views by using cards? Actually, that's true. You do get more views by using cards. That's not false. And in case you missed it, Click that eye up there. That's a YouTube card that explains exactly how they help you get more views. I show you a clear uh, before and after using the YouTube analytics real-time report of just how much more views you can get by using cards to refer to your previous videos. It really does work. I'm not sure what you meant, Tennessee Gaming. Maybe if you can explain it better uh, beneath this video. So Eaton, Minecraft, Pixel and more, Pixelmon and more, said to people in the comments here, don't actually partner with Freedom themselves. Look at smaller sections of Freedom like Power TV MCN, which is much better and easy to switch to. So what he's saying is <clears throat> Freedom is like the mother network, and we have a lot of networks powered by Freedom, which add additional unique value that Freedom doesn't offer. Now, you might think, if I go with a network powered by Freedom, will I earn less money? Well, no, because the way we've structured the deal with networks is we share our revenue with the network. You get like 100% of what you would get if you're partnered with Freedom directly if you partner with a network powered by Freedom. So there really is no negative to partnering with a network powered by Freedom, except maybe you won't like that network or you thought you were going to get something and you didn't, so maybe your expectations won't be met. But otherwise, yeah, it's a good idea to check out networks powered by Freedom. Uh, freedom subscribers are pretty inactive. So that we have 130,000 subscribers, and we don't get 130,000 views on every video. So clearly not everyone watches every video on the Freedom Central channel. But this is a common problem. As your subscriber numbers grow, the number of inactive subscribers also grows. And hopefully, as we make more videos and better content, as we improve based on your feedback down there, we will get more views and more active subscribers. <clears throat> Yo, George, how come I've applied for verification loads of times, but no one helps me and I've seen loads of channels get verified with less subscribers? So Do7V, <clears throat> verification is not like a, hey, do you have X? Then you get verified. There's a lot of factors to uh, deciding whether your channel is, um, can be verified. So in case you need to know all those factors, click that I up there. That'll take you to the video talking about the channel verification process and all the things your channel needs to meet. If you don't meet the requirements, you may not, you won't get verified, but maybe in the future if you apply again after you feel you do meet them, you may. So I encourage you to keep growing your channel 
and uh, try again in the future. So Movie Blast said, George is clearly delusional, <clears throat> excuse me, if he thinks he can help 100,000 channels. There's just no way. So it's actually, there is a way, and the way is by creating communities and tools that help <clears throat> all of these 100,000 channels work together. And we provide the staff to moderate those chats so that everything is clean and safe and, and not spammy. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for example, we have 100,000 members on our community forums. If you go to community.tm, this is our big home off YouTube for all of you to help you grow, give you feedback, give you a place to, <clears throat> to introduce yourself. And look, we have 110,000 members in this community. That's actually almost as many partners as we have. So I beg to differ that we can help hundreds of thousands of channels grow um, by offering places where you can help each other grow with us as moderators. So at Trex, he said, I've been waiting for payment on another channel I own. And he says he's owed over $180. So at Trexie, you might be one of these people who are waiting for a catch-up payment, which will be paid this month in January. Because in the past, a lot of you didn't give us your PayPal email address on time, or when we sent you a payment, PayPal denied it because your account was either limited or locked or had some other issue with it. So the good news is all of these missed payments will be resent when we send out all catch-up payments for all time. And the other good news is this will be a monthly activity, which means every month we will do catch-up payments for the previous months that were missed so that we'll stay up to date moving forward. Why did it take us this long to do the first catch-up payment? Well, the main reason is PayPal couldn't give us all the payment information. We called them several times. We spoke to their support team several times. And every time we tried to export all of our payments, there was an error. PayPal kept saying, time out, you know, cannot send you your uh, list of payments. And of course, we need that to be able to figure out who wasn't paid or whose payments were denied. So we finally worked with PayPal <laughs> to figure out how to get all of that payment data. So now we have it. And that's why we can now do catch up payments for all time and why we can continue doing them each month moving forward. So I hope this helps. And how much money are we talking about here? Well, about $200,000 US. That's how much money has been accumulated over time that we're going to be paying everyone <laughs> this month to uh, catch everyone up. So I hope this helps. And there was also the question about YouTube Red earnings, and I forgot to mention how much is that? Well, just for November, it was $17,000. And that may not seem like much, but keep in mind that the service just launched October 28th. So in a month, it's $17,000 worth of new revenue. And each month, it'll keep growing because YouTube Red is currently only available in the US. And as it launches in other countries, and as more people subscribe to it, your YouTube Red earnings will keep increasing. OK. Um, there was a question about Freedom Points. And Freedom Points is something that we've advertised from the beginning of Freedom. And when we did launch it in beta, many of you found ways to break Freedom Points, like gifting each other negative Freedom Points to give you positive Freedom Points, things we didn't expect you to do. You were very clever. Thank you for doing that. So because we've had a lot of other issues come up, uh, such as spam channels and new YouTube policies around uh, channels that are bad actors, uh, we had to delay the launch of Freedom Points. But we certainly still intend to get that out. And it's just one of these things that'll take a little more time because we have many other projects to work on 
um, that are just higher priority at the moment. So I'll stop the video here because I don't want it to be too long. I'd rather create a series of videos that more of you will watch rather than one super long video that very few of you will watch to the end. So did you enjoy this kind of video? Did you enjoy this style of video with me reading your comments and replying to them with long and detailed answers? Tell me that in the comments below and I'll use that to determine how many of these videos I should be making in the future to keep you interested and happy watching The George Show. And who am I? I am Papa George, as some of you call me. <clears throat> I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. And you've been watching And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.